How do I become a better listener? You practice listening in the same way that people practice playing. You can work on being a good audience member as, as much as you can work on being a good player. And I think it's very, it's very overlooked in modern society. For whatever reason, at Soundcheck today, Robert and I was discussing Shakespeare. <laughs> and Shakespeare could not have existed without an incredibly knowledgeable audience. Those plays would have been meaningless. I know now we also struggle because the language is slightly archaic. But actually, there are a series of very, very complicated themes and ideas kicking around in those plays that the audience at the time was sufficiently sophisticated that they could sit through a four-hour Shakespeare play once without studying it, and they would catch most of those nuances. So for Shakespeare to have written those plays, he also required you know, a, a practiced, learned audience. And we don't take seriously enough the fact now that the role of the audience is as important as the role of the musicians. The audience is as important in the act of music as the musician. Music can change the world, yes, but simply by listening to music in a certain kind of way, also the world is changed. In our culture, there are very few audiences who are as trained in listening as the musicians who walk on stage. In India, this is very different. Indian audiences are very sophisticated with the developing metrics, rhythmic metrics. The audience are familiar with this and know when the musician is going off. They're even remarkably complex rhythms going along with this. Now, some of you may be familiar with guitar craft and the guitar circle. And what we've done in recent years for those who are sufficiently interested in developing their listening skills in the same way that musicians are developing their listening and performance skills, we invite them to come along. They may have no interest in playing an instrument, which is fine with us, but they are interested in the power of music to enter their lives. How to do this? Well, first of all, we need the intention we intend to listen. Secondly, we put ourselves in a space where we become present. Attention in the soles of the feet, up through the body, to the top of the head. So from the soles of the feet to the top of our head, here, I am present in this body. And then what? Primarily, we, we learn to listen by developing the power of volitional attention. And there are a whole series of exercises and practices which we can undertake to do this. Now, may I say it is a commonplace and fundamentally flawed misapprehension that successful musicians listen to each other. <laughs> I know of one very successful musician, you will know him too, who does not listen to the other people he's playing with. We are not like that. We are going to have so much fun. That was meant to be a statement. It came, <laughs> it came out as a question. All right, so there we are, a Listen. little in... A little introduction to audience craft. Yes.